What's up guys, it's Toasty here. So, today I wanted to bring you a video showcasing the Pila with Damascus Camo, as well as giving you a few tips that you can use specifically for the Pila to do the camera challenges a bit faster. So, I just wanted to take a second to remind you guys about the giveaway that's going on. So, we are doing a giveaway at 250 subscribers. The giveaway is going to be for 1,100 card points. This, it obviously depends on when we actually going to hit 250 subscribers. You can use these points for anything that you would like. And yeah, it's just simple, normal card points. So if you subscribe down below, it's free card points just for hitting the subscribe button. And it helps me out quite a lot. Thanks. So the Pila's blast radius is a lot smaller than the Joker's. It's it's very small. So in order to kill people, you're basically going to have to be hitting them either directly or just next to them because it's a very good aerial streak launcher, but it is terrible against killing people. So in, in my opinion, it was actually worse than the Joker because the Joker has such a big blast radius. So it does a lot of damage to a lot of people in the same area. So the camera challenges, the tips are going to be the same for, and the spots, etc, etc, are going to be the same for either launcher, but I'm still going to go through them just for the sake of the video, because you guys wouldn't be here if you didn't want this one specifically. So for spray paint, it's kill enemies. Remember to either hit them directly or extremely close on, because obviously of the damage. Woodland, it's an attack on metals. Attack of metals are earned as soon as you kill someone that's capturing. Well, if you kill someone, if you kill someone while you are going to capture their either flag or hard points, then that would count. And this does stack. So if you get a triple kill, then you get three points towards this. Digital is defender medals. Defender medals are when you actually go and kill someone while you are standing on your objective so either on one of your flags or on your hard points dragon is destroy aerial kill streaks these are anything that's flying in the air it's pretty simple the pillars lock on is very quick and the rocket travels extremely fast so that's that's the big upside to using this to kill people as well splinter is destroy ground based kill streaks ground based kill streaks can count even the personal radars, the UAVs, the VTOLs, the counter UAVs, the attack choppers, the support helos, and take into account that you can't shoot down the gunship. So don't waste your time trying to lock onto it. Your rocket will never reach it and you can't shoot it down. So yeah, onto Topo. Topo is destroy equipment, kill streaks or vehicles. So this one's pretty simple. You just have to mainly destroy kill streaks. That's what you're gonna get to do this quicker. Tiger, we have destroy support kill streaks. Support kill streaks are anything that helps the player on the ground either kill people or find people. So it's UAVs, counter UAVs, um, personal radars, VTOLs, anything like that. So what I rec would recommend is you level up the launcher before you go for any of the camos. This way you're going to be doing as much as you possibly can at the same time. Because from splinter to skulls, except reptile, basically get done by killing the same kill streak. So yeah. Next we have straps, which is destroy kill streaks. It's anything, any kill streak, just destroy it. And the kill streaks that are the easiest to destroy are definitely the sentry gun, the shield turret, and the personal radar and counter UAV. These four are all one shot, so you're going to destroy them extremely quickly. As soon as they go up, you're going to be able to destroy them. For reptile, it's get kills while using the amped perk. The amped perk is a crutch whenever you're running a launcher class because it increases your launcher reload speed. For skulls, we have destroy vehicles. A lot of people get confused about vehicles in this game. And vehicles are anything that 
like any vehicle that an enemy player has gotten into and then left okay they don't even have to be inside of it as long as you destroy it it will count but in multiplayer you can shoot down the VTOLs the support helos the attack choppers any and even personal radars and UAVs it's it's pretty weird how it works but those are considered as vehicles in this game so yeah and a lot of people have messaged me on Instagram as well in the comments like adding their comments and I really appreciate that because it helps everyone in the community just get better and get Damascus quicker so yeah now I'm gonna give you the class setup for the primary just use whatever you going for to get gold and obviously Damascus obviously I was doing the I was using the right shield because I was doing the right shield and it was nice to not get shot in the back constantly which is always a plus especially in this game for the perks we I go with scavenger so that I can just pick up random ammo for my primary weapon if I'm using a gun for my perk 2 you can you what I would recommend is for your perk 1 you would you should actually use cold blooded I don't know why it's scavenger on there I think I was playing around a bit with the class but cold blooded is very beneficial because basically the kill streak that you're trying to shoot down can't kill you so yeah for perk 2 we have point man this allows you to earn points to get your kill streak so it changes from a kill streak to a score streak so even while you're busy shooting down all these kill streaks in the air you're getting points and if you shoot down enough then you can maybe even get your own kill streaks or UAVs or personal radars etc etc for perk 3 we obviously use amped because it's one of the camera challenges plus it increases the launcher reload speed which is always a good thing in my books so yeah you can use whatever lethal you want I didn't really end up using my lethal much and for tactical I use stim in case I did get shot then I can just quickly stim myself and stay alive for a bit longer so yeah guys that was the video I just wanted to take a second to thank you guys so much for watching to this point and please if you enjoyed the content just like the video and maybe subscribe it's much appreciated and yeah you're basically getting free card points just by subscribing if you do win the giveaway so yeah thanks guys it's been toasty